Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is Chief Pat, and today, bringing you guys the next episode of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series. So today, we're at 1,350 trophies. Let's go and try to find some loot, and today, we're gonna start off with this base right here with over 400,000 of each resource. I actually found this base fairly quickly, which was pretty nice, and uh, let's go ahead and see if we can take it out. So first of all, I'm gonna drop two lightning spells on these gold mines on the left-hand side. Again, I do not need elixir anymore at my town all eight, so I can use as many spells as I want, and seeing as it's a one gem boost, it's actually pretty beneficial to do so. Also, as far as what I want to upgrade today, I wasn't exactly sure. Maybe some of my traps would be a good idea. Most of my upgrades are about two and a half million gold right now. So if I could get some of those 750,000 gold traps out of the way, that would be pretty good. Either my giant bombs, which are 750,000, or my skeleton traps, which are 600,000. And also I need to upgrade my elixir storage one more time. That way I can finally upgrade my Pekas to level three, which is the final elixir upgrade, final elixir building, final elixir whatever, that I currently have at Town Hall 8. All right, so for attacking the rest of this base, I'm gonna go ahead and use my king right here, pop his ability, and I did notice that dark elixir drill right there, so normally I would have just gotten those gold mines and left, but seeing as there's a pretty good shot for that dark elixir drill, I'm gonna start spamming some of these archers and they'll slowly make their way into the base. Now, as far as dark elixir goes, I'm at 20,000 and I need 10,000 more to upgrade my king to level eight. I'm not really worried about my troops inside of the lab right now as far as my dark troops go, but I definitely need to upgrade those right after my king is finished upgrading to level 10, but let's just go ahead and keep working around this base. All right, so there's still some elixir left. Don't really care about that. All I care about is the gold, and I'm going to go ahead and go for this gold mine on the top left right here. So starting off with a bunch of barbarians, I still have 60 barbarians left, only 18 archers. Want to make sure I drop as many of those guys as I can and to provide at least a little bit of a front line for my archers to shoot over the top and try to take that gold mine out. And speaking of that mortar, that mortar just shot right over the top and took care of some of my archers, but still, they're able to take that bad boy out. That's going to do it for almost all of the gold inside of this base. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Looks like he tried to troll me with the Tesla up top, but the truth is I don't care about trophies. So I'm going to go ahead and lose 26 of those, but gain 600 dark elixir and 406,000 gold. All right, so moving on to base number two, this one is Black Widow. I actually found this one pretty quickly as well, and it's actually a really similar base design. The gold mines aren't completely exposed, but they are just protected by a couple of buildings on the outside, maybe one layer of wall. Uh, but let's just go ahead and try to drop some archers, snipe some of these buildings that are annoying and in the way. And taking a look at these two gold mines right here, I'm just going to start spamming some barbarians, seeing as I still have 90 of those guys left, which is a little bit unusual. Usually I try to have maybe 30 more archers than barbarians, so... Uh, it definitely didn't work out for this one, but still, this base is a pretty effective one to have barbarians against, and I'm going to be able to take those ones out pretty easily. So now that these army camps are down, I can continue on the bottom and just start dropping barbarians and archers. Looks like there's a Tesla over there that I'll take care of with some barbarians. And uh, what other buildings we want to take out? There's a gold mine in the center, so I'm just going to drop a lightning spell on that bad boy. And then looking at the top, I do see one more gold mine mix mixed in with some elixir pumps. So the Pekka to level three is six million elixir, but naturally I should be able to get that over the next couple of days. I really am not using that expensive an army composition. And even if people wipe me out for like 400,000 elixir, I'm still gonna be able to get that back fairly easily when I'm not using it on anything else uh, other than just like 20,000 on some troops. So taking a look at where we're at right now, looks like my archers are actually gonna take care of this town hall. And at this point in the raid, it actually looks like we're gonna be able to three-star the base. I wasn't even trying to three-star this base, uh, but seeing as we're at 77% and there's only a cannon left, as well as a wizard tower in the very center, gonna go ahead and finish it off with a couple of more barbarians right there. And uh, that should wrap it up for the rest of this raid. Three stars against Black Widow, and uh, it sure was a decent amount of resources. So again, I found these bases back to back, and it was pretty nice when I found these two. I thought I was gonna have a really good time finding resources, but the truth is after this base, I searched for around 25 to 35 minutes and I wasn't finding anything at all, and I was just trying to scrap by with a couple of bases, and I ended up attacking a couple uh, that really weren't that good. So after doing a little 200,000, 200,000 collector raid, we found another base right here with Josh Elf. Let's go ahead and try to attack him as well. And this looks like another base that could be three starable. As long as I just get in the center of the base and get those resources, all of his defenses are only protected by one layer of wall. And whenever that happens, it's very susceptible to being three starred by Barch. So let's go ahead and try that out. 
All right, so archers are making their way through. Looks like they're gonna get shot at by those cannons on the very edge. I'm just trying to use as few troops as possible in the very beginning. Gonna go ahead and drop those lightning spells because again, they are boosted, which means they're gonna appear really quickly, as well as the earthquake spell to finish off those uh, two splash damage buildings. And now we can make our way in through the bottom of the base. So a couple of archers picking off those gold mines. Looks like on the bottom right-hand side, they're not going to be able to pick those off because of the cannon. And at this point, let's just go ahead and start going in on this base and start dropping some of the rest of our troops. So King's going down right now. Right after the gold mine goes down, he's going to go into the center of the base. I'll slowly start dropping some of my wall breakers. One at a time should be enough for those level 5 walls. For the level 6 walls, I'll need uh, like 1.1, like a couple of hits by my barbarians, and one wall breaker will do it. And uh, so far, so good as we're making our way to the core. I still have 100 troops left, as well as my barbarian king's ability. Slowly just spraying those guys as the mortars rain down on my tier 1 troops. But now, I'm going to drop some troops on the top left and the top right. That way, the defenses are spread out on who they attack. And uh, it should bode pretty well to trying to get 3 stars against this base. All right, so 60,000 gold left. All of that's going to be inside of the town hall. So the rest of my troops will just go on the top left, finish off these elixir pumps, shoot over the top to get those last three defenses. That will do it for this raid. Another three star and another pretty decent amount of resources as we were able to steal 311,000 gold from Josh Elf. So like I said, 311,000 as well as 241,000 elixir, coupled with a little bit of dark elixir right there and 23 trophies. That's going to wrap it up for this raid right here. Overall, a decent time raiding today. I did have that dead period of like 35 minutes where I couldn't find anything over 100,000. But let's go ahead and head back to base, do some upgrades, and wrap it up for this episode. So let's go ahead and upgrade the skeleton trap to level two. I haven't done a lot of my traps, including my giant bombs just yet. So I'm gonna upgrade these two guys right here. Maybe in the next episode, I'll start tackling some of those giant bombs. But like I said, elixir storage to level set 11 will finally let us upgrade our P.E.K.K.A. to level three. So only two days left on that, and we can start hoarding some elixir for that six million elixir upgrade. So yeah, that's gonna do it for the video today. I didn't really get enough Dark Elixir to do anything else. I could try to do some of my troops, but I decided I wanted to save up for my Barbarian King instead, who is only 30,000 Dark Elixir. Uh, but we'll see if we can get that towards the next episode, but that's gonna do it for this one. Until the next video, I will see you guys later. Peace out.